What's up? Welcome back to Mess with Gustin. I am Gustin Opala right here at Mess with Gustin. Today, let's have a look at question 2, November 2020, grade 12. It was a statistics question. Now, let's have a look at this one. It looks very, very interesting. Make sure that you are subscribed so that you can see the list of the videos that we have posted when it comes to past papers and those ones of past papers of paper 1 and paper 2 for grade 11 from grade 10 and all the years from 2022 up until 2020 we are yet still going to upload the 2023 exam all right great stuff now let's have a look at this one it says the number of aircrafts landing at king shaka international airport and the port elizabeth airport for a period starting in april 2017 and ending in march 2018 is is shown in the double bar graph below all right okay the dark one here the dark one represent king shaka there is a our legend here and then the lighter one here because this is in black and white the lighter one here is representing port elizabeth okay all right just a quick check on the graph where they were highest numbers it was in july and where they were uh, low lowest numbers uh, rather it was in feb okay i'm assuming this is feb 2018 great stuff okay now let's go ahead and uh, answer question 2.1 2.1 it says that uh, the number of uh, of aircrafts landing at port elizabeth exceeds the number of aircrafts landing at the king shaka international airport during some month of the given period during which month is this difference the greatest okay if you have a look at here in all this month you can see the difference is not a lot by just uh, inspection looking at the picture here but you can see that here on this one looks like there's a huge difference because port elizabeth has got the higher higher a very high number and then uh, this one has got a low number so here right here i would say it's july it's july okay so our answer will therefore be july of uh, 2017 okay great stuff and that's how we would deal with this one guys so let's move on to question two point Two. All right, this question is divided into five questions, guys. So let's move on. Please stay tuned and watch this video until the end so that you can see the rest of the question and you may be able to follow thereof. Okay. All right, great stuff. Let's move on to 2.2. 2.2 says the number of aircrafts landing at uh, King International, uh, King Shaka International Airport during this uh, month are days the data that is given to us and then the first question that they ask us to calculate the mean of the data and then 2.3 it says that calculate the standard deviation for the number of aircrafts landing at king shaka international airport for their given period all right so this one's two questions we are going to need our calculator to deal with this one so let's go ahead and then bring up our calculator therefore enter the data so that we can be able to do this one all right great stuff all right our calculator is here now let's go ahead and see how we can deal with this one first thing first we need to set up our calculator to stats mode i always say come here to mode setup and then you choose number three choice number three option three it will be stats and then we decide whether our data is a single data or it's a, a data two whether it has got x and y so we can see that it's one set of data therefore we are going to choose one all right therefore we're going to choose one and we need to enter this data thereof and i did say guys when you enter the data please 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 if this is the one thing that you are going to do while relaxed in the exam so let it be because everything else that you're going to do depends on the answer that you are going to find here all right even the follow-up questions will depend on the data that you put here so now because the calculator will give you the answers please be careful when you enter in this data you want it to be correct 100 percent all right i can emphasize that even more further that is guys please be careful take your time double check your data and maybe check it once or twice if you have to all right okay let's go and put the data to 182 equal to 
two three two three equal to double two six five equal to two double three four equal to two three for six i'm hoping you guys are also entering the data as well i always advise that you do this practically as well so that you get familiar with this one as well and you wouldn't make a mistake uh, while you are in exam do this together with me as a form of practice guys it will really really assist you as well if you feel that i'm moving too quick for you please pause this video and then enter the data then you can continue thereof okay two zero what is this one 2018 equal to left with one double two five four great stuff and that's all our data now i'm gonna press ac and then let's go ahead and look at the data i have noticed that when it comes to the mean you can get the mean directly but however i always see this uh, the marks allocated to getting the mean of a given data is two marks so i would suggest that you go and look for the sum first here we are let's come here and said shift and start then we're gonna come here put option three we're looking for the sum which gives us two and therefore we're gonna say equal to say the sum is a uh, 26941 okay so that's this is a sum and then let's come say uh, please write this one down and then let's come here shift look for for the number on the data all right look for the number i think is here on variance there it is n one we're looking so we're gonna say that total of 26 1941 will be divided by 12 because the total number of data here given is 12 all right great stuff so now let's uh summer clear answer 2.3 because we are already here and we are using the calculator 2.3 says calculate the standard deviation for the number of aircrafts landing at king shaka international airport okay let's come here shift uh stats and then we are going to look for the standard deviation standard deviation is the one with the um, uh, o stroke at the top so therefore we are going to come here and say three therefore our standard deviation is given by that and this is 86.30 okay that's our standard deviation therefore with that said okay let's continue with our question all right good stuff now we'll need to write down what we just illustrated there 2.2 we said the mean is going to give be given by the sum the sum was 26941 divided by 12 uh, it's going to be equal to what is our mean our mean is 2245 our question paper always say two decimal place at the end there you go all right and then 2.3 2.3 is looking for the standard deviation we have already used the calculator for our standard deviation and it gave us 86.03 no 4.30 rather not 0.03 so we got this one using the calculator as well all right 2.4 2.4 it says that uh, determine the number of month in which the number of aircraft of aircraft landing at king shaka international airport were within one standard deviation of the mean okay within one standard deviation of the mean all right okay so now let's have a look at this one i've already said uh, it's within one standard deviation of the mean so what does this this means that we need to look for a one standard deviation away from the mean or below the mean this is below okay and then we need to look for one standard deviation above or away from the mean so this one is above okay so we are gonna come here just uh, deal with this one we say 2000 2,048 minus the standard deviation is 86.3. Okay. We said we are looking for something that is in between here. 
okay and then therefore what else here yeah? uh the mean there two two four five point zero eight plus eighty six point three okay great stuff so now we come here and say what is the number here the number that we're getting here punch this into our calculator we're getting two one five eight point seven five and therefore another one above the mean is two three three one point three three one point three eight okay so now uh, with this what you have to do now we need to count the numbers on the given data that are in between these two numbers that are here so we're gonna go and count how many are they so i've got uh, this is almost uh, 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 2159 and then 2380 okay 2159 2159 okay this one okay we've got this number one i've got two there i've got three there okay this one is above this one is above four okay five all right and then uh, let's see this one uh, okay you got this one as well one two three four five we've got one two three four five six okay seven uh, eight and nine okay so now what did the question say determine the number of month in which uh, it's one standard deviation within the mean so what is our answer our answer is number of months the, our answer is there are this is our answer here at 3.4 there are nine months okay there are nine months okay great stuff okay all right if you don't understand this one guys please let me know drop a comment on the comment section below i will definitely make a dedicated video to explain this concept or please stay tuned and go and watch a uh, question two of november 2021 and 2022 they are within this playlist and that should be able to assist you i did explain it quite a bit there as well all right now let's move on 2.5 it says which one of the following statement is correct during december and january uh, there were more landings at uh, port elizabeth airport than in king shaka all right uh, okay doesn't look like there was okay please uh, guys also look at the diagram as well let's go ahead and check in january and december if they were okay here we are on our graph here let's have a look um in january king shaka had more in december king shaka had more so therefore definitely this statement is not correct all right there was a greater variation in the number of um, aircraft landing at king shaka international airport than in uh, port elizabeth for a given period no it's false because the first question that the 2.1 we only said it was in july so therefore that's not correct so therefore c should be correct because the first two are incorrect but for the benefit of that let's just go through it and hear what it says the standard deviation of the number of landings at the port elizabeth airport will be higher than the standard deviation of the number of landings at the king shaka international airport okay that's correct yes uh, it would be it would be it would be why it would be higher than that of the king shackle name because there was a big variation there in july where there were more landings in port elizabeth airport all right okay i am gaston mapala guys this was a very interesting question uh, that was done in november 2022 it was a question to a grade 12 maths paper 2 question please stay tuned on this channel and if you click at the top there you should be able to see a playlist of question threes where we are where you will see the questions that follow after this one question three from november 2020 
2022 and also 2020. All right, I am Gustin Mapala. Definitely see you on the next upload and please make sure that you are subscribed.